So today I thought I'd do something different. Just ended up watching the Rubicon. And what I've been wanting to do for a while is, if you guys have ever heard of a rubberized paint called Plasti Dip, it's been out for years. Most of the auto parts stores carry it. It's a spray paint can, uh, the, a paint that you can spray on wheels, emblems, etc. It's rubberized. If you get sick and tired of it, you can peel it off and you can repaint it. Um, I had done some of our pitting wheels, wheels that were pitting on one of our old SUVs a couple years ago using Plasti Dip. Results came out okay, but I want to try something different here on the Rubicon. So the Rubicon is this, it comes in this matte molasses brown. And there's a new kit on the block. They've been out for a little bit now. Um, they've got a YouTube channel called Dip Your Car. And the guy that runs it, uh, is his name is Fonzie. He does a lot of different projects. They do wheels. They do entire cars. Some of the stuff they do is totally amazing. So, anyways, I grabbed one can of this. This color is called Brass Monkey. Uh, looks kind of gold in this picture, but it's really not the, the correct color. It's supposed to be, well, here's the cap. It's supposed to be very close to the color of the matte molasses brown. So my thought was, I'm gonna pull this rear wheel off. I'm gonna do one test wheel. And the wheel on the Rubicon Deluxe is painted uh, matte black, and then it's got these machine finished aluminum touches to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this wheel off. I don't wanna do the entire wheel in that rubberized spray. I'd like to keep this, um, expose this polished aluminum here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mask that off with some frog tape. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll spray it. You've gotta do a bunch of different coats and we'll see how the color comes out. Uh, if it turns out that it's not nice looking, don't like the way it is, it's pretty cool wherever you've got a seam, even if you have overspray on the tire, uh, basically the overspray will peel right off. And if you don't end up liking it on the wheel, you just basically peel it off. It comes off like a, like a rubber glove. So let's go ahead, let's get this tire off of the machine and uh, let's get the exposed aluminum pieces masked so that we can start painting. All right, so we've got the wheel and tire off. If you've never seen this setup on a Rubicon with the independent rear suspension, it's kind of cool. I mean, of course you have all your usual stuff. Um, but what's really neat is the, you know, the anti-sway bar that's here and then the way the shaft drive comes off of the transmission, a little bit of an angle into the rear differential. Um, it is uh, basically a solid axle. There's no diff in there. So, you know, both wheels always spin at the same rate. Uh, makes You got to be a little bit careful when you're doing 90 degree turns on turf. Uh, because the inside tire will tear up the grass. And then the coolest thing is, this is how the rear brake works. There's a single disc. It's actually on the drive shaft itself. And there's the caliper on the other side. And that's how the brake works. There's no individual uh, disc brakes on each of the hubs in the back, unlike how the front is. So, all right. So here's the tire. The lugs are 17 millimeter. Uh, just in case uh, you need to know to get them off and then this center cap just comes right off So the idea is now I'm going to take the uh, frog tape the masking tape and mask up these uh, five spokes here so that we don't get any of the um, The dip your car paint on there and we're gonna paint that the uh, brass monkey color. All right Let's see how it looks after the uh, the tape Okay, so I tried uh, cutting out masking tape to get exactly, you know, the flat edges of this um, polished, unpainted piece, and it is a royal pain in the ass. It probably would have taken me an hour and a half just to get the, uh, the tape cut. Uh, it may work if, if any of you maybe have already a thin cut, uh, like a pinstriping kit. You can you know lay a flat edge on here and try it that way so you know what for the sake of time i'm just going to spray the whole wheel we'll see how that comes out and then we may be able to maybe cut and peel off uh just these polished pieces we'll see how it turns out so all right let's get started now the key here is light coats to start and then you can get heavier, but the first ones have to be, you know, super light and super tacky. Okay, 
Okay, you can start seeing a little bit of that color coming through. Actually, it looks pretty nice. Actually, wow, that's pretty cool. All right, we'll let this dry for a little bit and we'll start another coat and you just have to do multiples. Okay, I just did a second uh, real light coat. You can see some of the overspray on the tire. That'll peel off. But it does have a really nice uh, metallic sheen to it. And so far, the polished areas, you know, are still looking a little bit different. Uh, you know, as far as the contrast, that's pretty cool. Uh, there was one white spot that I had on the wheel that kind of shows you that, you know, still not quite covered yet. And the little scrape that I had on the wheel here still needs some coverage. So uh, let's throw on a, uh, a real light third coat here. saturated here hopefully that will kind of wet itself out and dry when a little bit too hard so uh, a little tricky to film and spray at the same time so uh, I'm gonna throw a couple more light coats on here and then we'll come back and see how it looks all right so here's what it looks like after about five or six light coats uh, I think I think this is pretty good I don't think I'm gonna do any more uh, I probably used not even half a can so um, the overspray is still on the tire. I'll get that off in a little bit. But the sun was starting to come out. And some of the metallic in here was, was really starting to pop. Um, it, it is on the flatter side. Not really too glossy, which is fine. Uh, but I do like the, uh, the metallic flake in there. And the color is pretty cool. I mean, it's not a 100% match to the uh, matte molasses brown. But it definitely is not that bronze gold. I know it's called Brass Monkey. Uh, it's a little bit more on the brown side than on the gold side, which is great. So sorry if I sound a little muffled. I still have my mask on. Uh, definitely highly recommend having a mask on when you're spraying this stuff uh, because it's not good for your lungs. So anyways, let's get this thing mounted uh, back on the Rubicon and get the tire cleaned up and we'll see how it looks. All right, so here's pretty much the finished product. Uh, what I did find is on a couple of the areas where I did have it on thicker, it is a nice smoother finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more coats on. Uh, the other thing is too, is that if you have thicker coats, especially on the sidewall, you can see here where I was able to peel off the overspray. It's easier to peel off, believe it or not, when you have multiple layers. So um, we'll give it a few more coats on there. I really like the way this came out. I thought I would rather have liked it, you know, with the silver machined aluminum finish showing, uh, but it does look nice. You know, the metallic in here really pops. And um, I don't know, I think it I think it looks better than just the, uh, the black with the polished. So anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, it does look pretty cool. Not quite a 100% color match to the uh, matte molasses brown, but still pretty nice looking. I like the way it came out, especially with the contrast on the black cap. So I'll leave a link to the product in the description if you wanna try it yourself. Uh, the coolest thing about this is if it turns out you don't like it, you just peel it off and your paint is underneath, you know, basically untouched. So, all right, thanks again, guys. That'll take care of it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.